There are many things that professional actors do that amateur actors often overlook. And one of them involves the way they approach a script. And that's what I'll be sharing with you today. Hey guys, it's Kurt from smallmarketactor.com. Now, when a professional actor and an amateur actor look at their lines in a script, they usually approach it in totally different ways. Amateurs tend to focus on the words, while pros focus on communication. Now, it may not sound like a big deal, but there is actually a huge difference. Irish playwright George Bernard Shaw said that the single biggest problem in communication is the illusion that it has taken place. So what does this have to do with acting? Well, amateur actors often fall into the trap of believing that saying all the words right is enough to effectively communicate a message. So they spend most of their time memorizing their lines. I've personally fallen into this trap many times. But the professional actor understands that communication is much more than just words. If it were only about the words, then anybody who's able to robotically recite lines could be an actor. But that's not communication. Communication has feeling. Communication has emotion. Communication has depth. And because of that, professional actors don't spend most of their time memorizing their lines. Instead, they spend it on giving the lines meaning, making the words come alive. Not only their own lines, but their partner's lines as well. They spend time making choices and adding behavior to turn their characters into real human beings. And not just a puppet saying pre-written words. So if you aren't yet approaching your scripts this way, then what are some steps that you can take in order to do so? Here are a couple ways to start shifting your focus from words to communication. Have a reason to talk. When actors don't focus on communication, they often don't know why they're saying what they're saying. They're simply spitting out lines because they were written there in the script. But again, it isn't the actor's job to say the words. It's the actor's job to put thought and feeling into the words. So give yourself a reason to talk. Look at your line and figure out the thoughts and the feelings behind them so that you have a deeper understanding of what you're saying. In real life, words don't just come out of our mouths for no reason, even though you might swear you know someone who suffers from that condition. No, in real life, there are always thoughts and feelings behind every word that we speak. So apply this to your acting. Inject your scripted lines with thoughts and feelings to give your communication depth. React to others. Speaking of things real human beings do in real life, we react to things that other people say and do. So just like you should have a feeling about your own lines, you should also have a feeling about what other people say as well. A lot of amateur actors simply wait for their turn to talk and then as soon as their partner finishes speaking, they excitedly blurt out their next line. But that's not how conversation works in real life. In real life, we listen to what others say, we then process it, have a reaction to it, and then finally we formulate a response. Don't skip those first three steps. Listening, processing, and reacting are just as important a part of communication as speaking. Work on these things and pretty soon you'll no longer look like an actor reciting lines. You'll look like a human being speaking from the heart.